in Chicago. Rick, please unpack all of this for us. And, and how does global debt uh, government debt issuance fit in? Well, you know, listening to our two guests, all I could think about is, is that one of the biggest reasons why interest rates are going up is because the government spends ambitiously and they continue to spend ambitiously. Uh, I think this is a big deal and we need to pay attention. And you could look at the Fed and the Rorschach and try to figure out where rates are going to go. Or you could just pay attention to the data and the fixed income treasury market. It's been telling you what to do. Let's look at initial continuing claims. Both today were at 10 month lows, going back, excuse me, nine month lows, going back to January. And if you look at twos, fives, and tens on one chart, it says it all. Twos are basically slightly lower yields on a day, like the three year is. If you look at fives, they're up a couple of basis points. Tens are up about a half a dozen basis points. And thirties are up about 11 basis points. And if you consider right now, put them all on one chart, threes, fives, and tens go back to 07. I'm going to do this quick. Oh, twos go to 06. Oh, sevens were started in 09, so they get back to 09. 20 years started in 2020, so it's at the highest yields since 2020. And the 30 is at the highest yields on a closing cycle basis since 2011. It's been very clear for a month that these long-dated treasuries and the steepening curve were the underpinnings of investment activity. So the Fed could say what they want. You could try to mind their crystal ball. But in the end, I think they're watching the markets a whole lot more closely than many think. And it's very difficult in the end to understand what the dots truly mean or to say we're going to have all this easing in the future. The only thing that matters in the here and now is that the market's guns hot on rates and even though the UK didn't raise rates, uh, it doesn't matter at this point because they didn't raise rates because their rate fell, what, a couple of tenths to around six and a half percent. These are still too high globally. Spending, inflation, energy, and the Prime Minister of England, what did he do? He pushed back five years the forced transition to EVs, and embedded in that is one of the biggest inflation problems the globe has. Tyler, Kelly? All right, thank you very you. much. Rick Santelli, <laughs> and coming up, come for the hot dogs, stay for the catalysts. Evercore bullish on Costco, saying it has a long list of reasons to buy the stock. Power Lunch, we'll be right back.